Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a nice quartic equation. We have x to the fourth power plus 12x plus 3 equals 0, and we're going to find all the solutions to this equation. So let's start by setting this equation equal to something. So I want to be able to write this equation as a difference of two squares. And that can be done like this. x squared plus ax plus b squared, so the square of a quadratic, minus the square of a linear, which is cx plus d. Now, why does this work? Because when you expand everything, some terms are going to cancel out or combine, so on and so forth, and you'll get the expression on the left-hand side. But not only that, we don't have any x cubed on the right-hand side, right? I mean on the left-hand side. So we shouldn't have on the right-hand side either. But where does x cubed come from? x cubed only comes from the product of x squared and x. So since we can't get rid of x squared because we have a quartic, we have to get rid of this term. In other words, a equals 0. Makes sense? Because we don't have any x cubed. Why did not we check for x squared? We're going to do that later. So let's go ahead and rewrite this because this is going to be nicer. So I can go ahead and rewrite this x squared plus b squared minus cx plus d squared. Now let's go ahead and expand the right hand side, x to the fourth plus 2b x squared, 2b or not to be, allow me to say that, plus b squared minus c squared x squared minus 2c dx minus d squared from, you know, the expansion. And I have to negate everything in the second parentheses. Now let's go ahead and organize this a little bit. We have x to the fourth power and then no x cubed as you can see here. We have 2bx squared minus c squared x squared. So that's 2b minus c squared as the coefficient of x squared. And then we have this term. That's the only x term, negative 2c dx. And then finally we have these two constants, b squared minus d squared. Underlining is actually a very good idea if you're working with polynomials, adding, subtracting, and multiplying, so on and so forth. Especially when combining like terms, this is very helpful. Now, I want this, I want this expression to be x to the fourth plus 12x plus 3. Now, what is that supposed to mean? It means the coefficient of x squared should be the same on both sides, but there's no x squared here, right? So that means this is 0. The coefficient of x is 12, so it needs to be the same here, so this needs to be 12, and our constant term needs to be 3. So we get three equations from here. Let's go ahead and um, write a system. The first one gives me c squared equals 2b. The second one gives me negative 2cd equals 12, but that can be written as cd equals negative 6. And the third one is b squared minus d squared is equal to 3. So that is my system. If I can solve this system, then I can find the missing coefficients. How can I solve it? Let's think about it. You can go ahead and s square the second equation. Get c squared d squared equals 36 from here. But remember, this might introduce extraneous solutions. So at the end, we need to check. And from the first equation, I can actually go ahead and replace c squared with 2b. So that gives us 2bd squared equals 36. If you divide by 2, you get bd squared equals 18. Awesome. And now I can use the third equation, this one, b squared minus d squared equals 3. Now I got another system which is actually easier to solve than the previous one because I only have two variables. So we kind of used substitution, got rid of one of the variables. Now we're going to use substitution again and end up with a single variable. How can I do that? Since uh, there is no b squared, but we have a d squared, let's go ahead and isolate d squared from here. And write d squared as b squared minus 3. Just switch the 3 and the d squared. And now you can plug it in here. b times d squared, which is b squared minus 3, equals 18. Now let's go ahead and expand it or distribute it. b cubed minus 3b equals 18. And this is actually a perfect candidate for the cubic formula. You can definitely use it. And we talked about it very many times. But let's go ahead and guess and check because it's easy. 
B equals 3 works. 27 minus 9 is equal to 18, right? Hopefully you'll agree with me on that. So B equals 3 works. Let's go ahead and find the other ones from here. We know that C squared is 2B. So C squared is going to be 6 from here. And since uh, the product is um, CD is negative 6, let's go ahead and write it down here. CD is equal to negative 6. Now, I didn't want to use the C squared, D squared, because that's going to give me some extraneous solutions. But I still need to check. Now, if C is equal to square root of 6, then this implies D is equal to negative square root of 6, because their product is negative 6, as you can see here. And if C is equal to negative square root of 6, then D is going to become positive square root of 6. So basically, they'll switch around, and it doesn't matter which one I use. But I want to go with a positive C, so I want to use the first one. Remember, our equation was as follows. x to the fourth plus 12x plus 3 is equal to x squared plus b squared minus cx plus d squared. Now we know the values of b, c, d, so we can plug it in. x squared plus 3 b is 3, minus, for C, I told you I was going to use the positive term. It doesn't matter if you do the other way around. Square root of x minus square root of x. I mean, square root of 6 times x minus the square root of 6 squared. And this is equal to x to the fourth plus 12x plus 3. And you're like, what? Are you serious? Yes, I am. If you expand, you're going to notice that uh, you're going to get 6x squared. That's going to cancel out, and we're going to end up with what we have. Great. Now we can set it equal to 0 and factor this expression using difference of two squares. Here's what it looks like. x squared plus 3 plus square root of x minus square root of square root of 6x minus square root of 6. I don't know why I keep saying square root of x. And then x squared plus 3 minus square root of x plus square root of 3. Notice that I'm subtracting this, so I have to negate everything inside the parentheses. I just skipped that step. I hope you don't mind. Now, what am I going to do with this? Solve each one using the quadratic formula. But let's go ahead and arrange this a little bit. x squared plus square root of x plus 3 minus square root of 6. x squared minus square root of 6x. I said it again on the other one. Plus 3 plus square root of 6 equals 0. Okay, a lot of radicals. But let's go ahead and solve each one. The first one gives me the following. Negative 6 plus minus the square root of b squared, which is 6 minus 4ac, divided by 2. The second one gives me x equals negative b, plus minus the square root of b squared, minus 4ac. a is 1, so I'm just skipping that one, divided by 2a, which is 2. Awesome, we should be getting four solutions, right? But remember, I'm going to show you a graph at the end, so that's fun. Okay. Let's go ahead and simplify this. Negative square root of 6 plus minus. 6 minus 12 is negative 6. Distribute, you get 4 times the square root of 6 minus 6. Square root of that, divide by 2. And this one is going to give me a square root of 6 plus minus the square root of 6 minus 12 is negative 6 again, but this time we get negative 4 root 6 minus 6. Uh-oh, a negative number inside the radical, not real. Okay, this is not going to be real. That's going to be complex, and you can take out a negative, or put an i, and so on and so forth. Let's go ahead and deal with this one. This is going to be our real solution. So two real, two non-real solutions. Let's go ahead and take a look at the graph of this function, and here's the graph. So those are the two x values that we talked about, and remember the solutions were negative square root of 6 plus minus the square root of 4 root 6 minus 6 all over 2, and those are the two values that we found numerically. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.